<laughs> Look at that nine. What is going on there? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Royce to Glory in 2019. Now, I took a little bit of a break. Some personal things occurred. I didn't feel like uploading, so henceforth, why there's been like a two week hiatus of me actually uploading. But hopefully you can understand everyone has their own things going on and this is just something that I needed to sort before I could come back to uploading. But we're back and it's finally here, Team of the Year. Yeah, boy. And you didn't even know it. And as it has been a few weeks, there are a fair few things to catch up on. But, so I've had to interrupt this voice to glory guys to tell you about Online Headball 2. It's a free to play mobile game on iOS and Android. Now I've worked with Online Headball in the past but they have actually created a new version of the application which is why it's Online Headball 2. So if you're not familiar with Online Headball guys, the way it works is you are basically playing football but with these giant headed characters that you move left and right, you can jump with, you can kick with. And as you can see in the background, me getting absolutely schooled by some of these expert flipping online headballers. I play this game quite a lot, but there are some people on here in my league at the moment that I just simply cannot beat. It's completely customizable with constantly new unlockables. It's incredible portable fun and it's such a nice break from FIFA. I play it practically every day on the tube and now in Headball 2 it is actually voiced by John Motson, so you can hear commentary from John Motson when you are playing this game. It's, just, it's giant player time. We're slowly getting to this time he scored with his head. They still have their superpowers ready to go. The player is jumping everywhere. I'll leave a link in the description, guys, if you want to go and check it out and download it. It's available on iOS and Android, as I've mentioned. And if you want to be friends with me on the game slash join my team, my username on the game is Real Reeves. So if you do play Online Headball 2 or if you're going to play it and you're going to download it in the description, if you want to join my team slash be friends with me, my username is Real Reeves. Add that. And then I'll add you back and we can play the game together, etc. It's really darn flipping awesome. As I said, it's sick to play, especially when you're not when you're bored of FIFA a little bit and you want to play something on your phone or you're on the go. It basically, if you travel a lot, it's perfect and it's so addictive. So I'll leave a link to it in the description. But without further ado, let's get back into Royster Glory and hopefully get some decent red rewards. <sighs> right then, because it's team of the year, these are probably the What's the word? Most valuable reward set I will ever have throughout FIFA 19. Hopefully, well, the likelihood is we are not going to get a team of the year, but I can guarantee you that we will get an icon in this video. Now I'm cheating a little bit saying that because that doesn't necessarily mean in a pack. We are one squad away from completing Prime Stoichkov. And as you can see, it is the Icon Squad. The one that everyone pretty much leaves until last. Now, because I haven't actually uploaded this footage, like I haven't uploaded in a little while, I did end up doing the Prime Roy Keane Footmas Squad Builder, who I then turned into Rivaldo, who will now turn into Stoichkov. So effectively, we're going to submit Rivaldo because I'm really not a fan of this guy. I, I cannot believe he's a 92 rated card. I'm so genuinely surprised by the fact that he was so good in real life and on the game he's just terrible. It's obviously because of the two star weak foot, but that's what he gets from strike. That's, that's his record from striker. 34 games, 14 goals and 10 assists. So I'm more than happy to submit him in order to get the Stoichkov card. And I did tell you guys we'd get an icon in this video. I wasn't kidding. This is going to be Haristo Stoichkov Welcome to the club. All right then. Prime Storage Cobb is going to be absolutely ridiculous. I tried his left wing card out earlier on in the year, his 90 rated version. This looks like an absolute machine. Weekend League this weekend is going to be pretty dope. And it's kind of a necessity that I actually completed this card because the amount of team of the years that I'll probably come up against this weekend is going to be disgusting. There's the white ring. Yep. I mean, we all know it's coming really, don't we? There we go. Haristo Stoichkov, Prime Stoichkov, 92 rated, 92 pace, 93 shooting, 86 passing, 92 dribbling, and 86 physical. Now, believe it or not, apart from Rivaldo, I actually managed to complete this card in about 200k coins, which is phenomenal considering the squads you had to do it. 88 rated, 87 rated, 86 rated, 85 rated, 84 rated, 83 rated. I did them all in 200k. Now, the way I did them, is a thing called Icon Craft. Now, if you're not familiar with it, I will leave a link to Footspy, the guy who came up with this concept. Essentially, what you do 
is you recycle all of your rare and non-rare golds into the club, into these packs. Premium Premier League, Premium La Liga and Gold Upgrade Packs. For me, they're the ones that I used in order to get the walkouts, etc. Basically, you just recycle the cards you get from one pack into the other pack because they improve your chances of getting a walkout. So effectively, I managed to get like Old Black, I managed to get Casemiro, I managed to get Mane, Ozil, etc. Which saved me so many coins to actually put into the Storage Club SBC. But without further ado, it is actually rewards day. That is, that's honestly the reason why I'm even bothering to make this video. Because I do actually have content to make. So this will be the current team that we have in Weekend League. Now Eusebio, I'm going to actually have to convert back. I bought him for 3.7 million coins. He is phenomenal. But unfortunately, baby Eusebio <laughs> is now going for... Pretty much 3 million coins flat. So I've lost like a million coins on Eusebio, which isn't the greatest, is it really? But effectively, that's what the weekend team is going to be. This is what it'll play like in game. So yeah, that's pretty much what it'll be in game. In fact, I can just convert Royce back to a center forward. The Team New Market Crash has destroyed a lot of these players' prices. And if I am correct, actually, I wanted to address something as well. Now, you can see that I only have the 88 player of the month Royce. I did not do the 90 player of the month Royce because I felt like it was an absolute coin sink. And the likelihood was that Royce was going to get an upgrade in winter or a better card anyway. Now, Royce is up for a third player of the month award. Now, this time, the contenders are Alaba, Gerhardt, Kimmich, Lewandowski, Cruz, and of course, Marco Royce again. Now... The likelihood is Royce will get voted Player of the Month again. And if you guys haven't voted already, I'll leave a link in the description to go and vote on the Bundesliga website. Please vote for Marco Royce because the series just obviously just elevates every time that he gets a better card. If Marco Royce wins this again, which I think he probably will, he'll be given a 92 rated card, which in the winter refresh slash updates... He'll probably go to about a 95. So we could get an icon version Marco Royce if people vote, which is absolutely phenomenal. If he doesn't win, then fair enough. Another player who will also be awesome to do will win a Player of the Month award. For me, if Royce gets this and gets like a 92, 93 rated card, that will be an, it will be a team of the year level card. His stats already on his 90 rated are pretty much all 90s where you need them. If he gets a third... Player of the month, we're pretty much looking at like an icon slash team of the year level Royce, which is sensational. But enough waffling, we've done enough of that this morning. We have the holy screen as we refer to it, division rivals and foot champions rewards. Now I'm going to open, Not I'm not going to open, but I'm going to redeem division rivals. Now we're always going to take the untradeable packs because team of the year's out, there's more chance of us getting team of the year's. And we can recycle them into better players and packs in the upgrade SBCs. So we are indeed going to take the untradeable we got. Uh, Div 4, rank 2, relatively easy to get. I don't think we actually played that many games outside of Weekend League. Actually, maybe maybe quite a few because we only finished Gold 3 this weekend for Weekend League. I didn't want to play any more than that. So, or was it Gold 2? I think it was Gold 2. Gold 3. Okay, we finished Gold 3 this weekend, which means we get two player picks, two 35Ks, 150K and 30K coins, and also Foot Champions tokens which I will, I'll go and redeem these first. All right, so the first player pick we get is going to be, ooh, who do I want to go with? I might go with Edimir Tau, actually, because I have loads of 83s in the club that I don't end up using anyway, but this card looks actually pretty decent. Do you know what? I'm going to go with it. And then hopefully we can get somebody pr a little bit better here. Fingers crossed. No, okay, so 281s to end gold three this week. This is what... A lot of people don't see in that Gold 3 actually can end up like this, which is a complete waste of my weekend. Uh, rather unfortunate. Brunez Mori, 4 star, 4 star. I'm, I'm probably just going to have to go with this card. It is a crying shame that they are our best red rewards this week. Unfortunately, the team of the week wasn't that great anyway. So, I, I mean, I can complain because that's absolutely shocking. But at the same time, I'm just hoping that my other rewards actually are better. Now if we go into the store, we have loads of packs available. Now I'm hoping that because our red rewards are trash, we get given some compensation, shall we say, from EA. So here goes nothing. At the moment, like all I'm bothered about is just storing players into the club so I can do upgrade SBCs f further on, basically. 
So any rares, any non-rares are more than welcome so long as they are not duplicate because I can use them for league SBCs, well, uh, upgrade SBCs, which when the full team of the year is out, probably going to be quite beneficial. So two 15k packs from our division rivals, I believe. No walkouts in here. This looks like a board though. It is indeed. Kovacic. Okay. Now we move on to slightly better packs, in all honesty. No walkouts as of yet, though. No board in here either. Well, you're getting straight recycled then, Morales. And Jumbo Premium Gold Players. Um, I think this is from the Stoichkov SBC. I could be completely wrong. No walkout again. Doesn't look like a board either. Really? Man, this has been the worst set of rewards I've ever had so far. Not a great start. Store all of these players, though. Can be useful at a later date. Rare so they're 50Ks, 35Ks, and then we've got a 125K pack. Wow. I should really be opening these uh, tomorrow or whenever the full team of the year is out. But I have to make a video, and I can always do league upgrade packs for the full team of the year, which is probably a little bit better, actually. Oh, and a draft token! Get in there! This doesn't look like a board either. Mate, I'm not even... I'm really not looking out at all. Really not looking out. Two more 35s. Come on, game. No. Damn. Savage. The last mega pack. The last 35. Nothing in the 35s. They're usually really good for me. Gosh. Brazilian. Cedium. Firmino. No, Lucas. I like it. <sighs> Very disappointing 35k. Actually, it's just been a really disappointing morning of rewards. I wonder if like, if I picked the 83, would I have got a better next set? I wonder if that's how it works. And a 50k pack, we don't even get a board. Sensational stuff. Hernandez. This is... <sighs> Three 50Ks left and a 125K. I'm I, I've got, surely I should expect a walk out in one of these. It's so many just flying through and I'm not getting anything. Jimenez, yep. I know you're setting me up for a team of the year, just eventually. I'll wait, I'll be patient, lads. Two 50Ks left, come on EA, please. Yes, blue flat, no. Somebody decent, German. Cam, not Ozil again! I've had so many of him! <laughs> Is this an untradable one too? If he's untradable, he's useful, I think. Yes, he's untradable, that's fine by me. I've had Ozil so many times this week, it's ridiculous. Just because of the Premier League upgrade pack. Two packs left! Let's get two walkouts out of them. The final pack of rewards, and it's not even a rewards pack, is a 125k pack from the Rivaldo SBC for submitting... Oh, sorry, from the Storage Club SBC for submitting Rivaldo. That's what I meant to say. Come on, game. Walk out. Oh my god, it's not. Mate, what do I have to... It's as good as not getting a walkout can possibly be. Well, they were quite possibly the worst rewards I have ever had this whole year. I'm going to buy a team of the year. I'm going to commit now. I'm going to buy a team of the year. Next episode will be full of Foot Champions gameplay and getting a team of the year. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rinse out the club of everyone that we just packed from those untradeable, untradeable packs. I think an, I think another one of this style of David Silva SBC will be released tonight along with another Ballon d'Or winning icon. From Mini Marco and myself, thank you for watching this video. I really do hope you did enjoy it. I appreciate that I've been on a break and I'm very, very grateful for those of you that are returning to the videos and want to come back and watch Royce the Glory, etc. I apologise, it's been a little while. The videos won't be as frequent as they were just before New Year's because I have a lot of other stuff going on in my life at the moment and I'm trying to balance that and uploading FIFA videos because Apart from this week, there hasn't really been that much content that's been great to make videos around and upload. So if you do enjoy the series, guys, as always, please do leave it a like. Thank you for watching as per usual. Remember to check out Headball 2 in the description as well, guys, if you want to go over and play me on it. Add me. My username is Real Reeve. I wish you the best of luck in packing all the team of the years. And until next time, I'll speak to you all again soon. Adios.